Welcome to 11 Plus DIY. This is a tutorial in nonverbal reasoning. How to solve nonverbal reasoning type 1 questions. There are six main types of nonverbal reasoning questions. This presentation will show you how to attempt the nonverbal reasoning question commonly referred to as the analogies type or type 1. Analogies are similar relationships. Think of these questions as NVR equivalent of dog is puppy as a cat is to kitten, little is to large as fat is to thin. The aim is to find the relationship between the first two sets and then apply a similar relationship to find the correct answer. At 11 plus DIY we recommend you use the COS method. C stands for count. Are there aspects of the image that have increased or decreased in count? For example, count the stars in the picture, dots, bars, etc. O stands for orientation or rotation. Look at the images. Has the orientation rotation changed? S stands for size. Has the size changed in any way? S stands for shape. Has the shape changed? Count the sides. Have the shapes moved? And S stands for shade. Look at the shading. Has it changed from a solid to a pattern or now unfilled? Elimination. Process of elimination is a way of finding an answer or solution by first deciding which answers or solutions are not possible. Elimination is iterative. Use the cost method. Look at all the answers and eliminate incorrect answers one by one. Repeat until you have eliminated all incorrect answers and are left with a correct answer. Question. Look at the two shapes separated by an arrow or the words is two on the left. The first shape relates to the second one in some way. To the right of these shapes, there is a third shape, followed by four or five other shapes. One of these given shapes is related to the third shape in the same way as the two shapes on the left are related to each other. Choose which one. Remember cos and elimination. Count. Are there any aspects of the image that increase or decrease. Remember, there may be more than one aspect of the image that changes, so count anything in the image as it may make up the answer. Look at the first part of the question. There are three smaller images, stars, within the grid. Now look at the second part of the question. It has three smaller images within its grid. This would suggest that the answer must also have three smaller images within its grid. Start with A and work towards E, counting the smaller images. In this case the answer is yes. Each image has nine squares. However, answer E has only two smaller images. Eliminate E. Draw a cross through any incorrect answers. Move to the next step, orientation. We have already eliminated E. It can be ignored. Has the orientation, rotation of the image changed in any way? Remember, there may be more than one aspect of the image that changes, 
so look for anything that may have changed its orientation. There may be more than one. Again start with the first part of the question. Has anything changed orientation? No. This would suggest that the answer will not change its orientation. Start with A and work towards E. You do not need to look at any answers with a cross through it. In this case the answer is no. Nothing appears to have changed its orientation. Move to the next step, size. We have already eliminated E, it can be ignored. Have any of the sizes changed in any way? Remember, there may be more than one aspect of the image that changes, so look for anything that may have changed its size. There may be more than one. Again, start with the first part of the question, has anything changed size? No. This would suggest that the answer will not change its size. Start with A and work towards E. You do not need to look at any answers with a cross through it. In this case the answer is no. Nothing appears to have changed its size. Move to the next step, shape. We have already eliminated E. It can be ignored. Have any of the shapes changed in any way? Remember, there may be more than one aspect of the image that changes, so look for anything that may have changed its shape. There may be more than one. In the first part of the question, both have the same shapes inside the grid. In this case, stars. This would suggest that the answer will have the same shapes as well. In this case, squares. Start with A and work towards E. You do not need to look at any answers with a cross through it. Eliminate any answer that does not have squares. Eliminate A and C. Draw a cross through any incorrect answers. And move to the next step, shade. We have already eliminated A, C and E. These can be ignored. Have any of the shades changed in any way? Remember, there may be more than one aspect of the image that changes, so look for anything that may have changed its shade. There may be more than one. In the first part of the question, the stars have changed from a solid fill to an empty fill. This would suggest that the answer will change from a solid fill to an empty fill. Start with A and work towards E. You do not need to look at any answers with a cross through it. Eliminate any answer that has a solid fill. The answer is B. Let's review the question. Look at the two shapes separated by an arrow or the words is two on the left. The first shape relates to the second one in some way. To the right of these shapes there is a third shape followed by four or five other shapes. One of these given shapes is related to the third shape in the same way as the two shapes on the left are related to each other. Choose which one. By process of costs and elimination we have successfully determined the answer as B. Another example. C for count. No, no aspects of the answer has increased or decreased. O, orientation or rotation. Look at the images. Has the orientation rotation changed? Yes. The cube appears to have rotated on its axis. The black circle on top remains at the top. However, the left hand face now appears on the right. Eliminate all answers where the top images change. Eliminate all answers where the left hand shape in the question do not match the right hand in the answer.
size. No, the size remains the same. Shape. No, although the shapes changed, we have already determined the answer is due to orientation. And shade. No, no shade has changed. Another example. If we count, yes. Eliminate all answers where the number of small images are different. In this case, we only need to concentrate on answers with four smaller images within the grid. Orientation? No, there is no movement or rotation. Size? No, the size has stayed the same. Shape? Yes, the first part of the question shows stars in both parts. Eliminate all answers where the smaller images are different to the second half of the question. Shade. Yes, in the first part of the question, the solid fills change to empty fills, and the empty fills change to solid fills. Eliminate all answers where the changing of the fills has not happened. The answer is C. Remember, each time try to identify the analogy in the first pair. Look for numbers, shapes, direction, orientation, like mirror images, colour or shading in the pair. Eliminate the choices from the answers which don't fit. In most cases, the answer will stare out at you once you have eliminated the obvious. Remember, cost and elimination. For analogies, there are many variants. You need to practice working with as many variants as possible to be successful. At 11 plus DIY, we have over 12,000 non-verbal reasoning questions for you on offer. 11 plus DIY is used by many private tutors to teach their students. 11 plus DIY is used by many preparatory schools in the UK. 11 plus DIY has the largest database of online questions compared to any other website. We actually supply papers to grammar schools. We offer a, a wide variety of online services with access to over 30,000 11 plus style questions with no monthly contract. There is unlimited access and comparative analysis by school. We cover papers with all subjects on offer and we also provide mock exams. These are the best way to prepare your child for the real exam. Thank you. For more information, please visit www.11plusdiy.co.uk.